Hi, this is Carolyn Wainscott, and today I'm going to be showing you how to put together this little hoodie jacket from my Hannah's Closet Designs. It's another one of my reversible designs, and the pattern's available uh, at the link that you'll see on the screen. I've designed these doll clothes uh, to reverse because it makes it easier to put them together, and you have uh, two garments or two outfits in one with one sewing. So let's get started putting this little hoodie together. For the doll's hoodie, take the pattern that you have printed off. I have the main fabric and the reverse fabric all pinned together. I'm cutting out both at the same time. I've sewed the reversible fabric, and this is the main fabric. Going to take the right front and sew the sleeve. This is a nice construction because um, everything is straight lines. You don't have to set in a sleeve. The sleeve is put in as you go. And I am going to press these seams, but I am going to press them closed rather than in regular clothing construction because these are narrow seams and they're going to get a lot of wear and tear um, putting them on the dolls and taking them off. Here I have the left side of the jacket. Match up the neck seam, the, the neck opening. So that straight seam. But the two fronts and the sleeves are ready. Here's the back piece. I'll match that. The neck opening to the sleeve and sew that nice straight seam. So these four pieces are sewn. I'm going to give them a quick press and then we will sew the sleeves and down the side shut. Here is the reverse side of the jacket. I um, pressed the seams and while I was at the iron I pressed back the sleeve edge and that will come in handy later. And this will get turned with the right side out. Sleeve opening is pressed in. So we'll slide the lining into inside the jacket and match up all the edges. For the hood itself, take a rectangular piece of the main fabric. This is about 23 inches long and 9 inches, 18 inches wide. A first fold is made, right sides together on the length and then fold it a second time. First fold, second fold. Place the hood pattern. This is the front of the hood. Place that line on the first fold and place the top of the head line on the second fold. This will be a self-lined hood. Another easy piece to put to together. To form the hood, we will unfold it.
fold right sides together, seam each back seam. So the two seams are sewn. I'm going to turn this inside out, outside in, outside out. and push the lining piece back into the hood match these seams back here and straighten this out and there you have a lined reversible hood as soon as I get it all straightened down here And it's ready to be put on the jacket part. The jacket fabric and the reverse fabric have been pinned together around. I've left the bottom open because I won't be sewing all the bottom closed so I can turn the jacket. The seams have been matched at the shoulders and the hood was placed inside and pinned at the next seam also. So the hood is pinned in here, both layers, and it will all be sewn together. I will start at the a lower seam and sew all round. Make sure all your edges are together when you sew. I hate to have to go back and reach This is also the reason I like to make reversible garments. This way I don't have to fuss with tiny hem allowances most times. And they'll take this seam to the side seam and cut off the corner edges so these will lay a little nicer I'm going to go in through the bottom and turn the jacket right side out and before I take the final stitches on this I'm going to press and set these seams and this is why the sleeve edges were turned under I'm going to match those and top stitch around you could put decorative stitches on here Stick some piping in there if you wish. Put lace around if, if your doll wants lace. As I was setting the seams, I also pressed under the two back hems and top stitched those when they get done. The jacket's done except for the Velcro closing. So, And there it is.